Okay, so、um, first I would like to say thank you、uh, a lot for the 500 subscribers on my channel.、Uh, it's amazing because I've started like last year, and I would never thought I would reach 500 subscribers that fast. So I asked you guys、um, to ask me questions、uh, on Twitter and on my Discord server. By the way, the link is in the description, so feel free to join. But yeah, let's,、um, let's get started. Why did you stop making music, and what did keep you making it? So the full story is, I started making lo-fi in 2018,、um, but、I、wasn't really like making music. You know, it was just trying stuff and wasn't really serious. And then I joined the fandom in 2018. Um, and was listening to like TCB, Faulty,、um, Digit, I Blink to Apples, etc. And in 2019, I released my first Pony track.、Um, it was a Smile remix. After it got released, like. Two weeks after, I saw that no one was listening to it, and I wanted to stop. I wanted to stop making music, and、uh, then I saw that someone、uh, named Mackenzie wrote an article on Equestria Daily, and I saw that, and I was like, "Damn,、um, people like my music. I want to continue. That's epic."、Um, and I started to ask feedback to people like Loris. Um, AKA、uh, Power Note. We started to talk, and he gave me feedback on my stuff, and then he showed me Equinity. And from Equinity, I learned about、uh, A State of Sugar and Straight from the Heart, where I met Stereotype. I was like, damn, I'm not the only one who's making lo-fi in this fandom, and I want to make like something to get more lo-fi in the fandom. So I asked Stereotype、uh, if he wanted to make、uh, a label with me, and he agreed. And we created Vibe Ponies, and、um, yeah, that's my story and where I am now. How long have you been doing music?、Um, I started playing drums 15 years ago and was playing in a band like punk rock and some 41 covers and stuff like that. And、uh, I started making music on my computer in 2018, but it wasn't、uh, really serious. Like I was just making stuff for fun. So I consider making music for real in 2019. How did you join the fandom? And what was your first experience with other bronies? So I used to be a Nemo,、uh, and was like. I love unicorns, but I'm dead inside, and、uh, never really watched the show. And then I started to be like curious about it, and I watched some episode, and I actually liked it, and continued and watched everything. And、um, the first time I met Pronies was in a anime convention. I saw that one girl in Rainbow Dash cosplay, and I was like, "Damn, you're so cool! Please be my friend." And then she introduced me to everyone from the Brony、um, Belgian crew, and yeah, I made a lot of friends. Anything outside of music that you thought about trying out? I actually don't really know. Like maybe I'd say free running, like running on roof and taking picture and watching sunset, and I don't know, just for the view.、But、yeah, other than that, no. Do you have pets? Um, yeah, I have one dog and two cats. One style of music you like and one you dislike. Bonus points if it's not something obvious. I'd say that my favorite genre ever is acoustic version of、um, of tracks like metal or、uh, rock. And actually,、um, I hate most of、uh, the French pop and French rap of、uh, nowadays. Like, please stop insulting my mom. How was your OC created? Actually, my first OC was called Bubble Melody. He was、uh, a mix of Pinkie Pie and、um, Vinyl Scratch. And then I switched to、um, Moonlight Serenade, which was a, a unicorn. 
and uh, then I saw the Christmas episode with the deers and was like damn they so powerful what the f and I changed to a deer favorite type of fast food KFC without a doubt 69 or doggy style both where would you like to take your son in the future? I would love to sign at a hospital recall like um, Netsky and start doing sets on big stage to play liquid drum and bass in Neurofunk. What is your favorite Netsky tune? Um, that's a really hard question. I would say Memory Lane or Eyes Closed. How are you so... I'm not cute. What genre you want to tackle in the future but haven't yet? I already tried but never managed to do something good, but I'd love to do Neurofunk. What that mouth do, but more importantly, what that personality do. What? TCP, I love you. Favorite video game? I would say Skate 3 and Watch Dogs. Vans or Nike SB? That's a hard question. Um, both? Why are you the best mom? Because I love all my childs. What in the world did you do to acquire this many subscribers? I, I don't know, I'd say collabing with people and promoting myself? How the f*** do you make music so fast? I actually have no idea and I'm glad that I have that capacity of making a song in like 2 hours. Why isn't it 11? Because craziest story you have to tell um i'd say that i had a party one time uh for a friend's birthday and um we went to the to the forest they had a, a tree house there and stuff like that and they wanted to make like a fire so we can like see something uh in the dark and um they forgot to take paper to make the fire but they took gasoline that is the worst idea when you do a party in the forest so um one guy started to like put gasoline in the fire but he was so drunk that he put the full bottle on on the fire and the fire started to like go in the bottle and the guy was like panicking and he threw the bottle behind him and there was a river in front of him and we started a fire for us and uh, we turned off the fire and then we left do you take any special courses for your music creation? also bonus question to see if I'm the only one like that or not are you always happy with the track you made or do you always find mystic things to improve two weeks after its release? Uh, first, um, nope, uh, I have my music theory gra graduation in drums, uh, but I've learned everything on FL Studio by myself or with uh, others' help. And uh, second, uh, I used to hate my music, but recently I'm starting to like it and even if I always find something I could change, I still think it's a good track. So yeah, that was uh, all the questions and uh, thanks uh, again for, for the 500 subscribers and for following me and yeah, this means a lot to me. I love you all and uh, see you next time.